Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 26, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. If you'd like to receive our signal service, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You also get access to our full technical analysis, and the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied a little bit today. We have been rallying quite uh, for several weeks now, all the way since uh, 1286. And this is around 4.2%. Around, uh, so we are getting uh, fairly overstretched in the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, I've written a line here. This is where we will run into major, major resistance if we ever get to that point. So this is where I hope that we'll get to because I expect this market to turn around to the downside when we get to this level, which is at 1338. And uh, the target is basically the 50 moving average. As you can see, the last time we broke down, we broke down towards the 200 moving average, but the 100 moving average and the 50 moving average are basically at the same point at this, at this, um, at this stage. So um, that is where I think we should basically short this market to, towards the 50 moving average. If we break, for example, this price level, then we are going to go much higher. Technical indicators for Great British Pound and US dollar are still fairly bullish. However, some of the indicators are becoming fairly flat. You can see the RSI is on the edge of being overbought. We can see that CCI is basically flat at this point. So is the stochastic. And the only indicator that's really bullish still is the MACD. So at any point, this could fall. The first line of support is based on the 15, uh, 20 exponential moving average at 1323. Uh, and uh, well, we just have to wait until we get there in order to sell this. So US dollar yen, we rallied a little bit and then gave back some of those gains. And we are probably now going to go uh, further, uh, further south, as I can say. If you look at the technical indicator, especially the RSI, it's becoming extremely negative. The uh, CCI is basically flat at this point, and the uh, MACD is turning around as well. Stochastic is still uh, still bullish, um, so it may take a while, but I think that we are going to head at least towards these lows at 103.751. Uh, uh, if that breaks, then we're going all the way down to this lower trend line here, and uh, where we probably get a very nice uh, buy-in. The last time we went uh, towards this trend line, we rallied all the way up towards the 100 moving average or the upward part of the trend line. So we are in a downward channel and uh, we have been here for several, several months. And uh, this is probably one of the most predictable um, currency trades there is at this point because it has been very reliable within this channel. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied all the way up to these um, this line here is at 11.92, and we pierced that uh, resistant area, but gave back some of those uh, gains. And at this point, it'll be interesting to see what happens basically tomorrow. If you get another green candlestick above this uh, resistant area, then we probably go ahead to 12.01, and that will be massive, massive resistant. We are still... We're not overbought yet, we're at 61, so there's a lot of room to the upside. Technical indicators here are fairly bullish, all of them, so we most likely will go a little bit higher, but I don't think that we're going to uh, to rally past 1201. I think we're going to turn around from there towards the downside, at least the 50 moving average. So that's a move of around, around uh, 2%, so that's a fairly good um good trade in order to sell it here and target the 50 moving average. So that's around uh, 237 pips. So let's see the Aussie US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied again. And it's very similar to the uh, to the Euro and the Euro US dollar and the Great British Pound US dollar. We are rallying towards these previous highs um, in the uh, Aussie US dollar at 0 0.74. Um, and when we get to that stage, I think that we are going to turn around. 
will be significantly overbought when we get there. And I think most of these indicators are also showing signs of weakness. CCI is starting to go down. Stochastic is not as as um, as um, as bullish as it has been. It's starting to round off, but the MACD is still bullish. So we are probably going to you know, hit this previous highs and that will be our selling opportunity for this currency pair. Of course, a break above this will will basically push this market way, way higher. So US uh, dollar CAD. We have broke down yet again today. We rallied a little bit and then broke down. And at this point, we are most likely going to test these previous lows. If this breaks, then we are going much, much, much lower. I have been suggesting for a very long time now that we are going to head back towards this channel. Uh, the fall from here all the way towards this channel is a massive drop. So if that is going to be the case, that is going to take a long, long time. We have been taking the trading sideways for several months now. So um, at this point, this is the very lows, 1294. The very highs here are around uh, 1323. So within this area, we'll probably stay and gradually go lower. So this will gradually probably go lower from here. But at this point, this is going to be um, support. If we break through here, then we are going to go much lower with this currency pair. So it is difficult to enter this market at this point. If we rally towards the 20 exponential moving average um, at around 1309, then it's possible to sell. And even better, if we rally up towards the 150 moving average, then it's also better to sell. At this point, it's probably, yeah, it is, I would stay away from this at this point. Technical indicators are still looking fairly bearish. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where we almost now have 100 traders using our, our trading system. So good luck and thank you very much.